Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo Sport. We're back with a daily race C from last week's combination from Red Bull Ring in Group 4. So for this race we're on the American server, starting from the back of the grid. You can see myself there in P70 and we're driving the Aston Martin Vantage. Now we have some very fast drivers in this lobby also who are in probably better cars for this track if I'm honest. The Ferrari was my preferred car for this combination we did find out that there was a few other cars that people were not using who were actually pretty strong here we tried the nsx and found out the nsx was insanely good at this track probably close to as good as the ferrari but yeah the vantage this was our first lap in the vantage we didn't get any sort of practice in it jumped straight in and straight away after the start a little bit sketchy obviously trying to get used to the extra weight on the vantage compared to some of the other cars so yeah, a little bit heavier this car. It seems It doesn't feel very quick, but it's not actually that bad. It's pretty solid on acceleration considering the weight of the car. So into the braking zone again. Was quite surprised at how late you can brake with this car. So it's just about trying to get the feel for this car, trying to figure it out, trying to work out how to get the pace out of it. And it will always take a lap or two just to start getting some consistency going. So yeah, we're starting to drop back from the car in front. You can see there, Fragger in P14. Um, in that Ferrari battling away with the cars up ahead. So we're going to fast forward this little section here where we're struggling at this point to stay with them. However, as we come through here, we're going to just try and get a nice solid exit from these corners. Make sure we get a good exit on, on the final corner as well. As we have the car in front of us, it goes through a pit. And also, the car behind us has decided to go in for an early pit stop. So in front of us now, we have absolute chaos starting off. We have three wides, two wides all over the track. So this is going to be very entertaining as we go through turn one now we're not going to back out of this i decided you know what i could see it all kicking off and i just kept my foot planted here went around the outside kept it in the track limits and pulled off an absolutely brilliant move there to take two cars i was really happy with that one and now we've got the run on fragger and the cars in front can we make this three or four five or six cars in the space of a few corners let's see we're up past another car up into p10 up into p9 in the middle of absolute chaos now the court came and hits another car and then we're going to drag race now down out of the corner and see if we can get past that Cayman on the right hand side. And that has been six overtakes in the space of just over two corners. So absolutely crazy race so far here at the Red Bull Ring. And then we're going to go into the braking zone. The McLaren goes for a move up the inside. They kept, I knew the Audi TT would do that. However, he goes on the gravel, um, kind of stops dead in front of me. And just with the pinball physics of GT, we were actually looking for, to go for a move on the uh, McLaren there. However... That was, that was killed off. However, the Audi TT tries to shut the door on the McLaren. That then pinball, pinballs him off to the side and then gives me the position up the inside. And we take that P7 back. So that, that was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely entertaining stuff. Let's have a little look at that again on the replay. So we kept it planted around the outside. That part was, uh, it was just a case of, I, I don't think there was much skill involved. It was just a case of keeping your foot down and praying for the best, and which we did. And we got the best out of it. Two cars ahead on him that one corner then we're going into the braking zone fragger breaks very early um, we break pretty late there taking another few cars there's five positions there um, and then we have the cayman on the right hand side that's just got no acceleration at all and then the audi tt is obviously going to come to the left hand side to give us that position so we've got six positions here however the mclaren is going to get that position back as we go through here you see i have to go back over to the left because i know that the mclaren's on the right hand side the audi tt just floors it there i think um very lucky that i backed out of that because we would have been pushed off into the gravel um and unfortunately he just went on the gravel and then the pinball effect took effect however through here the mclaren goes back for a move and he tries to defend it very late there it was just a bit silly he, he ended up losing about five or six positions through retaliating against the mclaren so that shows you not worth doing he could have just let him tuck up in the inside tucked in behind him and he had lost one position but instead he lost about four or five you can see he's all the way down at the back of that group behind the cayman so yeah lesson learned hopefully for that driver so watching these replay cameras again as we go through these corners we see we've got a mclaren in front of us a ferrari driven by fragger behind us and this is looking very promising for the Aston Martin at this early stage. We've got a few cars in front of us, but we've worked our way up the order here with that chaos going on on lap two there. And now we've just got to try and see if we can find the way past this McLaren. So trying to figure out this vantage in terms of how to get a good exit. And we actually get a really nice run out of turn one. And we're right behind that McLaren now. Get in the slipstream. Can we go for a move into turn one? We're going to go to the left then fake it to the right hand side. Go a little bit too over, but there is a bit of tarmac there that you can use. And that rescues us there, breaking as late as we can. And that's a nice clean move up the inside. 
and up into P5. Fragger goes for the move also. He's not able to get that move done though because he's got that tight line he's got to take. And the McLaren is very quick in the drag. And the McLaren has got our slipstream also. So now into the braking zone, we're just going to try and keep this nice and smooth and see if we can build a bit of a gap up to the Ferrari. The Ferrari. We know that the Ferrari is going to be a bit quicker around this track. And also the McLaren was very, very good at this combination also. We had used that in a previous race. So we're going to have to push now and see if we can catch up to the group in front. We can see that we've got two cars right in front of us there, P3 and 4. Not too far in the distance. Can we manage to catch them up? It's going to be interesting. We've got P2 that's actually not... I don't know how we'll be able to catch that position up in this race because P2 is, I think, actually quite a fast driver. So this is now about see if we can catch up to P4 maybe and then just take any positions that we get. So... We're going to take these corners as fast as we can as we look in the mirror there and we can see that Fragger is still not managed to get past um, the McLaren and I think another driver has actually got ahead of all of them and then in front of us there. We have a penalty for a driver so that is going to mean we're going to get a little bit closer by the time a few laps later and we did. We managed to get right up behind this Jaguar and we can see we've got a bit of a gap to the cars behind as well which is quite nice. We've got a 1.2 second buffer. But however, as we come through here, we try and get on the throttle really early. Now, I thought I'd brought that back over to the racing line just in time because we kept the right-hand tyre on the kerb. It was just we fractionally went too far wide and unfortunately half a second penalty. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try and go for a move here because if we get moved on with the penalty here, by the time he, we take the penalty, we should be able to top back into the slipstream of that Jaguar. So we're going to go for the penalty now and hopefully when we take this penalty, we'll be back into the slipstream, which will help me defend against the fast drivers that are coming up behind. So yeah, Jaguar goes back past us. We tuck back into that slipstream and that's worked out quite nice. That's gonna give me a bit of acceleration into the braking zone and we've been able to defend that position from the cars behind. But we have got Fragger now right behind us in that McLaren, uh, in the Ferrari, sorry. As we go a little bit wide there onto the gravel, nearly losing control of the car and just about managing to save the rear end in this Vantage. Lucky there, could have easily have spun the car there, but we got away with that one and we're still just ahead of Eager Fragger. Now, we're gonna try and get back past this um, Jaguar as quickly as possible. I didn't wanna pit this early because I wasn't sure about that group that are chasing in the pack behind us and how far behind they was. It'd be very risky if we came out maybe just inside that or just, um, you know, even if we just came one car in front of us, it could hold us up. So as we come through here, Fragger and the car behind are going for an early pit stop. You see the BMW and Fragger going for that early pit stop, which is, going to be risky but it might work out for them so we're going to try and see if we can get past this Jaguar as quickly as possible so going to the right hand side we're going to go for a move but we back out of that and then we backed out and then there's some weird connection issue here now you can see his car's almost going sideways I think it's just a bit of desync I don't know what's going on there but his car is snaking down the track so I'm guessing it's a bit of connection issue um, but I think he let us through anyway so up into P4 and now we're going to see if we can go for a podium in this race, possibly. We've got a bit of a gap to P3, though. P2 seems a little bit too far away, seems to have quite good pace. Um, we're only gaining ever so slightly on P2 here. So that position possibly is out of the question. But let's see if we can get a podium in this daily race C from the back of the American account as we work our way into this tight right-hand corner and we're gonna skip ahead a little bit further until we catch up to P3 because it was a little bit later on in the race, I think a lap or so ahead. And we're getting a little bit closer now. You can see that we're almost in that slipstream range. Once we get in that slipstream range, that's gonna help this Aston Martin Vantage drag right up to behind him and see if we can go for a move. So through here, trying to keep it nice and smooth and you can see we're actually going purple there. We can see also that Fragger has managed to get ahead of all that traffic, so he's in clean air. And this now is a case of keeping an eye on what lap times Fragger is doing at this stage of the race because if if he starts doing very low like 36 fours and fives that's going to be very 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 risky however the car in front this is perfect for us now has decided to go in the pits and do his pit stop so for me there that was ideal because that is going to be an absolutely perfect position for me now to just put some lap times in you can see we're going to try and do lap times. So we can see it also that meant that that driver would come out ahead of Fragger and the other drivers behind. So that was also another benefit for me. He might hold them up slightly. So we go over the line there. 36 nines, 36 nines. Aston Martin, very consistent. It's not an amazingly fast car here. However, it was pretty solid and it was driving quite nice. However, as we continue this lap, we're going to fast forward the action. We noticed that. By the time we fast forward and Fragger goes over line, he manages to put in a 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35-6, 35
So that was the sign that I need to go in the pit stop now because he's clearly got ahead of any traffic or you know any issues in this race. So I decided we're going to have to pit now. This is the lap where we're going to have to get that pit stop done and hope that we come out either in his slipstream or close enough to his slipstream. So trying to get a nice smooth entry into this pit now, maximizing as much as possible, using the full width, running wide here, almost running too wide, but luckily getting away with that. And then we're going to fast forward that pit stop just so it goes a little bit quicker in the, on this replay. So yeah, out of the pits. And then as we come out of the pits, we can see there is Fragger on the track map coming through turn one. This is going to be insanely close as we come out of the exit there. You can see in the mirror, Fragger in the Ferrari, he's going to get the move done on the outside there. However, we are going to be in that slipstream. So this is going to be a battle now all the way to the finishing line. So can we go for a move into turn, technically turn three? It, we're a bit too far back there, so we're not going to be able to do that. So now we're just going to have to concentrate on getting very nice, clean lines in this Vantage and drive the best we can with this car. It's going to be incredibly hard to stay with the Ferrari around here, but we're going to do our best. Staying in that slipstream, slipstream advantage here was definitely worth a couple of tenths of a second. It just made it a little bit easier to get that lap time out of your car. So into the braking zone, making sure we brake a little bit early when we're in that slipstream because obviously you're going a little bit faster. So you want to brake just a little bit earlier, a little bit more cautious, and then you can concentrate on getting very good exits from the corner. So, so far, we're managing to keep that gap around three to four tenths behind Fragger. This is going to be very tricky through these corners because the Ferrari is very strong through here. So the Aston Martin, surprisingly, was actually pretty okay. Um, it actually surprised me through the fast corners how this car feels very heavy, but actually felt pretty good through the fast corners so it doesn't surprise me in all because we have driven this in a manufacturer before i remember at cataluna getting a very good result in the aston martin vantage so the car can clearly do fast corners so through the final two corners now we've got to stay as close as possible to him now and we're going to really hook this final corner up and we actually nailed that and it looks like fragger had to give it a little lift as he was running a little bit too far wide there we've now got the slipstream can we go for a move into turn one we've got a really nice drag from his car we're going to go to the right hand side can we break late enough into the braking zone breaking just before the 100 ball making the corner perfectly and that is a very clean and tidy move up the inside fragger breaks early to try and do an undercut and try and get a better exit speed but i think he breaks a little i think he went a little bit wide so there was a few people that were saying that that move was a dive when we streamed this race i personally don't think that was a dive that was just a clean move up the inside we were pretty much side by side in the braking zone so yeah i didn't see any issue with that overtake at all so now we've got to try and defend from fragger we'll have a look at that move on the replay cameras when we get to the end of this race but at the moment we need to just concentrate on defending against fragger can we hold him off for these final few corners so we're going to plant the car in the middle there we've got enough of a gap to hold him off now we've just got to get a very clean exit from this corner and we absolutely nail that corner maximizing the traction and the vantage serving us very well in this race from the back of the grid so far so into the next braking zone again this is where the ferrari is going to be very strong so we've just got to try and keep it nice and clean onto the throttle use that rotation that this vantage actually has quite good rotation on the throttle in third gear try and get good exit from here because this again is where that ferrari is going to get a very nice slipstream onto our car and possibly go for a move so we're going to go to the left hand side of the track will he have to run into this final corner he's not close enough there so down into fourth gear he gets very close on the brakes there you can see almost touching the rear of the vantage and now we have to just try and get a nice clean smooth entry and exit off the final corner and this is going to be a very nice podium from the back of the grid driving the vantage so i was very happy with that result especially beating the ferrari driven by fragger so great racing again fragger would definitely destroy us in most other combinations and cars but this combination seemed pretty good for myself so let's have a little look at this move as we get the slipstream we go for a move on the inside and as we're in the braking zone you can see we're almost side by side fragger breaks early i break late keep it on the track 100 percent fair move in my view and we take that position so let's have a little look from fragger's view you can see our car as we go into the braking almost side by side there and yeah I, I didn't see anything wrong with that but a few people were saying it was a dive which was quite strange but yeah we moved on and we managed to get the p3 from that so very happy with that if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel it does help me out massively hit that notification button so you don't miss any future videos and i will be back with more gran turismo sport streams and videos and highlights videos in the future. See you all soon.